Over to the kitchen, we're going to be doing a little baking. Chef Paul Barron runs a catering company on the shoreline where he also offers cooking classes. I'm very excited about this. And we're very happy to welcome him to the Better Kitchen because generally people who bring good food Paul, here are very here. happy to welcome, especially when there's dessert. What are you making today? So we're going to make a caramelized banana ricotta tart. What? Say that again? Caramelized banana ricotta tart. That sounds absolutely amazing. And you promised me no lobster. Because right, you no lobster. That but he loves banana things. I, I love banana. Okay. I love all things banana. Banana milk, banana. Good, good, good. <laughs> Tell me how your business works, because it's kind of a unique model. Yes, yeah, so we do a lot of different things. And I guess the main premise is, think of a dinner party. And every aspect of our business has something to do with the, the core dinner party. Okay. So, so whether it's going in someone's house and putting on a dinner party, or uh, at our shop in Madison, we have a table that seats 14 okay. for private dinners. Um, and but we're same not, idea. I'm, not, I'm not coming into your shop and picking up a to-go meal. No, 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 it's not that uh, sort of thing. I guess it's a customized chef service in okay. any aspect. Well, that's really, beautiful. Is that the beautiful table in Madison? Is. So no, that is actually one of our functions that we did. It that's in New Haven, actually. Oh, okay. That All is right. spectacular. Beautiful. What a great so job. So you're going to show us one of the things that yeah. we can make. And if you want to have a dinner party and you don't want to stress about it, you'll go to people's houses exactly. or you'll help us with it. Um, there's a blowtorch here. Yeah. So we're going to. So the, I, the the idea is similar to a creme brulee, <laughs> except we're going to be keep using him bananas. Keep away. <laughs> keep me away All from right, the blowtorch. So the, the idea is, you know, a cool. Um, in this case, ricotta cheese and the warm caramelized bananas. So we have uh -huh. different textures. Okay. So I'm just going to slice the banana up. Look at you putting a little cut in there. <laughs> You're not going to waste this little end, are you? No, that's for you. Okay, very good. <laughs> and then it, we're going to lay it out on this tart here. So, so you've already made the tarts, and this yes. is just filled with just ricotta, or is it uh, cheese? A little vanilla bean, ricotta, vanilla bean, and confectionary sugar. Oh, there is sugar in there. That's so how you do it. Okay. Piece. So I'm going to slice the banana. I notice that you don't like certain slices, and you like yet other slices. I'm picky. And you leave the hair of the banana on. <laughs> <laughs> bananas have hair? Bananas well, have if hair. If I brought my razor, we would shave It's the a little, little banana shave there. So okay. we'll, we'll put right, so the bananas in the sugar. Thing. Okay. And then that's kind of... Is that how we caramelize them? They need to be dunked in the sugar? Yeah, so they're coated in the sugar. And then I might have not cut enough, so we're going to... Right. I can cut some more for you. Thank you. Don't right. eat them, just cut them. <laughs> so we're going to just... You know, arrange them nicely, and, and the idea is, you know, even, so it caramelizes even. Okay. And the sugar is what's going to make them have that caramelized effect. Right. You need more? Okay. Um, no, I think that's pretty good. He's making good. a little mountain. Well, I can give you more. Banana mountain. We got more bananas here. We could feed a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> There's just, or there's just so one monkey who can eat them. Am I going to exactly. torch it or when are you guys going to torch it? Um, maybe you should show us first. <laughs> and then a little more sugar on top. Look at all those banana peels you got now. You got all these slices now. All oh, right. Just in case okay. you need so, them. Oh, there it goes. That looks. And then the idea is to just move it around a lot so it's nice and even. Well, and it's just plain sugar? Paul? Just plain just granulated sugar. Plain that's granulated it. Could you do sugar. that with any fruit to and so caramelize it? That, that's a good question. So it really depends on the moisture content. So apples work really well. Um, softer fruits might not hold up as well. But, would, uh, would berries work or no? Berries would, would kind of melt from okay. the heat a little bit. But you know, peaches. Peaches would work really nice. Apples, peaches. I think a lot of the stone fruits would work pretty well. So that's really it. It's, I mean, it's a nice, simple dessert, the filling. Can you just explain how you got the ricotta into the tart, and was that a difficult process? And <laughs> so you take the ricotta and a, and a spoon, and then you just put, no, I'm just No, kidding. seriously, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it, Paul. Don't kid so yourself. You make the filling. I, I pre-made the shells, and then, no, you just put it in, and then you use something flat to kind of scrape off the excess, make sure it's packed tight so there's no air pockets in there, and that's it. Okay. If you'd like me to cut it. and uh, Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sure. We'd love for you to cut it. Cut the banana tart. You know, I, I just want to eat this right so here. So let's say someone's thinking of having a dinner party and they're a little bit threatened by the idea uh, of that. Yeah, I can cut it one more in quarters because Kara's not allowed to eat today. I'm, She's banished it's from the food. food to eat still. I, I, I really, food. really would love to, but. So, you know, it's warm, crispy on top, cool in the middle. Um, it's kind of so sometimes. if someone wants your help, um, yeah. do we just call you? And, and what size of dinner parties? So, and how does that work? Yeah, so everything we do is custom. So whether we do a dinner party for two in someone's house oh. or a wedding for 200, same idea. We don't, it's all right. <laughs> Stop it. That is phenomenal. Oh, good. Oh, my I'm God. Sure you say that to every show. I don't. Trust me, they bring mayonnaise and lobster in. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Oh my god. So she got the memo. No mayo or lobster. <laughs> yeah, I was very I, I read that carefully. Okay. Um, <laughs> so good. Yeah, so oh, the idea is look at the, we, that's what it would show up at, 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 I love the caramelized sauce. Is that mm -hmm. an egg? Ooh, that looks good. That's beef rosemary you make? Yeah. Well, we, so like our menus are completely custom. It's whatever people want. A lot of times people say, do you have a sample menu? And I say, no, it's a conversation. Ooh, look, mm, lobster. Some of us do like lobster. Where'd you get your training? You uh, I went to Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park. In Hyde Park, mm -hmm. in Poughkeepsie, mm -hmm. right outside of Poughkeepsie? Yep. Well, aren't you fancy <laughs> smanchy? And before that, I got a degree from Quinnipiac. Well, aren't you even fancier and smanchier? <laughs> you must have a lot of student loans. God bless you. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you'd like to learn more about Chef Paul Barron and what he can do for you when, he comes to, uh, <clears throat> when it comes to catering, check out his website. It's chefpaulbarron.com. Yum. What All right, you also dish. find Chef Paul Barron on Instagram and Facebook, and we're sure he'd appreciate a nice little follow there. You can get a good look at the pictures of all his amazing food close up right about now. It's going to make you super hungry for dinner.